Maria and the Quest for the Magical Sword Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there was a kingdom called Orem. It was a prosperous land ruled by a just and fair king. The people of Orem were happy, and life was good. But there was a problem in the kingdom that nobody could solve. A great dragon had taken up residence in a nearby mountain, and it had been terrorizing the people of Orem for many years. The dragon would swoop down from the sky and snatch up livestock, crops, and even people. The kingdom was in a state of constant fear and chaos, and nobody knew what to do. One day, a young girl named Maria decided to take matters into her own hands. Maria was an orphan who lived in a small village on the outskirts of the kingdom. She was kind-hearted and brave, and she couldn't bear to see her people suffering. Maria knew that she had to defeat the dragon, but she didn't know how. She decided to seek the advice of the kingdom's wise old wizard, who lived in a tower at the edge of the kingdom. When Maria arrived at the wizard's tower, she was surprised to find that the wizard was a small, scruffy-looking man with a twinkle in his eye. He listened patiently to Maria's story and nodded thoughtfully. Defeating a dragon is not an easy task, young Maria, he said. But there is a way. In the kingdom of the elves, there is a magical sword that has the power to defeat any dragon. But be warned, the journey to the elf kingdom is perilous, and only the bravest and purest of heart can make the journey. Maria was determined to save her people and set off on her journey to find the magical sword. She traveled through dense forests, across treacherous rivers, and over steep mountains. She faced many challenges along the way, but she never lost hope. Finally, after many weeks of travel, Maria arrived at the Elf Kingdom. The elves were a gentle and kind people who welcomed her with open arms. Maria explained her quest to the Elf King, and he agreed to help her find the magical sword. The Elf King led Maria to a hidden cave deep in the mountains. Inside the cave, there was a pedestal with a beautiful, glowing sword resting on top. Maria approached the sword, and as soon as she touched it, she felt a surge of power and energy flowing through her body. With the magical sword in hand, Maria returned to her village to face the dragon. The dragon was fierce and powerful, but Maria was not afraid. She drew the sword from its scabbard and charged at the dragon. The battle was long and hard, but Maria fought with all her might. She swung the sword with skill and precision, and with one final blow, she plunged the sword into the dragon's heart. The dragon fell to the ground, defeated, and the people of Orem rejoiced. Maria was hailed as a hero, and she was given a place of honor in the kingdom. From that day forward, the people of Orem lived in peace, and Maria became known as the greatest warrior in all the land. She had proved that even the smallest and seemingly weakest among us can accomplish great things with courage, determination, and a pure heart.